Right now, final preparations are underway for Election Day. That comes as early voting wraps up across Arkansas. Five News reporter Ian Taylor is live in Fort Smith with a look. Ian? Now, the last of the early voters have begun to exit here at Creekmore Park, but the location will be back open tomorrow for those looking to cast their vote on Election Day. And both candidates for Arkansas governor are using the final hours to garner every last vote. Early voters are heading to the polls in big numbers, according to the Secretary of State's office. As of this morning, uh, we had just over 450,000 people had early voted, and that's with one day left to go. Um, that's uh, outpacing early voting from the, the 2018 midterms. The race for governor, top of mind for many. Georgia's restaurant in Fort Smith has hosted the Democratic and Republican candidates within the last week. Republican Sarah Huckabee Sanders made a stop there Monday. The former Trump press secretary is looking to become the state's first female governor and says a vote for her will help move Arkansas to the top in the nation. There has been so much excitement for our campaign because our message has been about building people up, building Arkansas up and taking it to the top, and that's clearly resonating. On the Democratic ticket, candidate Chris Jones spent Monday in South Arkansas. During his stop in Fort Smith last week, he touted himself as the candidate who will listen to Arkansas. Arkansans have the solutions. You got to listen. Arkansas will tell you what matters. You got to listen. And so even in talking to everyone at the tables here, it's about listening. It's about saying thank you for showing up. Uh, and it's about saying that we're in this together. Whether you casted your vote early or are waiting until Tuesday, officials say every vote is important. People all over have opinions about a lot of things, but they may not put their vote behind it. And uh, that's just where it's going to have to, uh, uh, I think, sink in with a lot of people that your vote can count. Now, early voting centers across the state did close at 5 tonight, but voting locations will open again tomorrow starting at 730 in the morning, and they'll stay open until 730 tomorrow evening. In most counties, including Sebastian, those looking to vote tomorrow can cast their vote at any voting location. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. All right, Ian, thanks. And if you need a ride to vote tomorrow, local bus lines are making that easy. Bus rides will be free for Fort Smith Transit riders. Just use the route shout to a uh, route shout point 20 2.0 that is to plan your trip. Northwest Arkansas Ozark Regional is also offering zero fares. Just find your polling place and set up your ride at ozark.org.